Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Are you ready to be a code detective? Great, you will look for bugs or errors in Ozobot's programming. Then you will help Ozobot by fixing the bugs. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, and the Ozoblockly editor. Today we'll be working in level two. In today's lesson, you will define debugging, examine a block-based code and the behavior of the bot to find a bug in a program, and edit a block-based code and test the program to fix the bug. Programmers often have bugs or errors in their code. A bug in a code occurs when a program runs and the bot does not do what it is supposed to do. To fix these bugs, programmers debug. Debugging is the process of finding and correcting errors or bugs in a program. Sometimes a bug or error is easy to identify. Other times you need to make changes to your code and retest multiple times before a bug is fixed. Debugging is an important part of learning to program. A bug can happen because only one block is placed in the wrong order of the sequence, one block is missing completely, or one block has an incorrect setting chosen. A bug or error can also happen because multiple blocks are in the wrong order, missing, or have incorrect settings chosen. Let's get started. Are you ready to practice debugging? I could use your help. I'm trying to get my bot to complete the following sequence. Skateboard, display lights like a disco ball, spin left, and move backward five steps. I've used all of the code blocks I need, but something isn't quite right. Can you watch my bot in action to identify the bugs or errors in my program? Let's run the program. Did the bot skate forward, display lights like a disco ball, spin left, move backward, and repeat the sequence a second time? When you watched my bot, you probably noticed that it did not do what I wanted it to do. This means I have some bugs in my program. I wanted my bot to skateboard, display lights like a disco ball, spin left, move backward, then repeat the sequence. Instead, my bot skated forward, spun left, displayed lights like a disco ball, and moved forward, then repeated the sequence. The first bug is that my bot spun when it was supposed to display lights like a disco ball. The second bug is that it moved forward when it was supposed to move backward. Now let's take a look at the code blocks I used to make the program. Try to find the bugs in my code. Which block is not in the correct order in the sequence? Which block has the wrong direction chosen on it? Great job looking at the code to find the bugs. The disco block needs to be moved below the skate forward block. The forward dropdown needs to be changed to backward on the move block. Now that I've made these changes to the code, I'm going to run my program to check it. Watch my bot in action. Does it skate forward first? Display lights like a disco ball second? Spin left third? Move backward fourth? Does the sequence repeat and run two times? Let's run the program. Did the bot skate forward, display lights like a disco ball, spin left, move backward and repeat the sequence a second time. Now that you have helped me fix my own bugs, it's time to practice using your own bot. Open up Ozoblockly and click on level two to build the bugged program. 
To begin, go to Light Effects in the block panel. Click and drag two set top light color to blocks into your workspace. Make sure they are connected. Then change the color of the first set top light color to green. Next, go to Movement in the Block panel. Click and drag a Move Forward Distance 1 Step Speed Medium block and put it below the set top light color red block. Then change the distance from 1 step to 3 steps. Now go to Timing in the Block panel. Click and drag a Wait 1 Second block. Put it below the Move block. Finally, go to Loops in the Block panel. Click and drag a Count Controlled Loop and wrap it around the whole sequence. Then change the count from two to three times. Can you build the bugged program? Now that you have built the bugged program, let me tell you what the intended outcome of the program is. The program is supposed to tell the bot to turn on its green light, move forward very fast, turn its red light on, stop and wait, then repeat the sequence two more times. I will connect my bot by clicking on the Evo icon and pairing it with my device. Then I will click Run Program and observe my bot in action. Let's run the program. Can you run your program and watch your bot? Does the bot display a green light, move forward very fast, display a red light, stop and wait, and then repeat the sequence? When you watched your bot, you probably noticed that it did not do what you wanted it to do. This means there are some bugs in your program. The bot was supposed to turn on its green light, move forward very fast, turn on its red light, stop and wait, then repeat the sequence two more times. Instead, the bot turned its light green, turned its light red, moved forward at a medium speed, then stopped and waited. The bot did repeat the sequence two more times. There are two bugs or errors in the code. Can you find the two bugs in the code? Which block is in the wrong place? Which block has the wrong setting on it? When you looked back at your code, did you notice the set top light color to red and the move forward at a medium speed blocks were in the wrong order? The move forward block should be stacked before the set top light color to red block. I will click and drag the move block to connect it after the set top light color to green. When you looked back at your code, did you notice the speed setting on the move block was set to medium? The speed setting should be set to very fast. I will use the drop down menu to change the speed to very fast. Now I will run my program to see if I have fixed the bugs. Let's run the program. Can you check your program with the solution? Then run your debugged program. Remember to check your work. Did you identify the two bugs in your program by watching your bot and looking at the code? Did you fix the two bugs in your program? Does your bot demonstrate the intended outcome? Can you define debugging? If you're looking for more to do, you can choose a bugged program activity card to practice debugging on your own. Come back again soon for our next lesson.